Welcome back to Western New York Living. Over the past decade or so, advances in medical procedures have offered new hope for medical issues that used to require more advanced surgeries. For women suffering from uterine fibroids, one of their main options for treatment used to be a hysterectomy. Today, more and more women are choosing a minimally invasive fibroid treatment called uterine fibroid embolization. I recently stopped by Winsong Interventional and Vascular Services to talk to Dr. Dana Dunleavy about the benefits of this type of procedure. As I found out, it is truly life-changing for their patients. It's a somewhat staggering fact that close to one in three women over the age of 30 have uterine fibroids. For some, the symptoms can be minor and sometimes unnoticeable. But for many, the symptoms progress and become so severe that they can disrupt their lives. With uterine fibroids, oftentimes people talk about silent sufferers, and that's just because fibroids are so prevalent. So we talk about approximately 40% of women during the fertility age have fibroids, and that's about twice as common in the African-American population, but it's, it's across the board. And it really depends just on whether they're symptomatic. So that could be bleeding or pressure or pain or it can even um, affect other things. If it's compressing the colon, you can get constipated, or if it's pushing on your bladder, you can feel urinary frequency or urgency where you have to pee often and feel like you need to pee right away and oftentimes get up throughout the night. Prior to the procedure, I had at least one day a month where I just couldn't move. I was stuck in a chair in pain. I had corn bags everywhere I could put corn bags and we were heating them up every two hours and I just was sitting there in tears most of the day. I had gotten to the point where I was taking three, two, three Advil, you know, ibuprofen and I just, it just kept it bearable but it wasn't good. Like many women, Anita's symptoms slowly progressed over a couple of years and it wasn't until she spoke to her gynecologist about them that she realized she had uterine fibroids. That is when she was presented with the option of uterine fibroid embolization, which Dr. Dana Dunleavy specializes in. Oftentimes people do know that they have either fibroids or adenomyosis, which is an involvement endometriosis within the uterus. Um, and it's just a matter of what do we want to do about that? Do we want to do anything about it? Um, or do we want to choose a surgical option? Or do we want something in between, you know, where we just do a minimally invasive outpatient choice? Um, now, instead of going through the groin or the common femoral artery, we can go through the wrist or radial artery, which is much nicer for patients. Everyone prefers it, and it actually has many advantages for people that are larger or might be on blood thinners or just have uh, bleeding problems. Um, we have long, little tiny spaghetti-sized catheters that go all the way there, and we can choose the exact location we need. We also have some very nice uh, software technology here where we already know from the prior imaging that was done, uh, we can do a 3D map and just only confirm we're in the right place once we're there and so that minimizes fluoroscopy time, procedure time and contrast which are all good things for the patient. All uterine fibroid embolization procedures at Winsong are done inside their state-of-the-art interventional and vascular services suite. It's an outpatient procedure that allows for the same day discharge and most patients return home to normal activities in seven to 10 days. When those people come back, they just say, it's been so tremendous, I wish I knew about this earlier and I wish my mom knew about this too. And so that's the reason that we want people to know about it because it really has improved their life, their energy and all of their family as well. We tend to be, um, us women, moms especially, we tend to take care of everyone else first, right? The kids, the husband, even parents, siblings, whatever the case might be, we gotta take care of ourselves. You can't take care of everybody else if you're not taking care of yourself. So I imagine there are a lot of women who just, you know, okay, it's that time of the month, I hate it, but what can I do about it? There's something we can do about it now. To find out more about all the medical services Dr. Dunleavy and the rest of the staff at Winsong Interventional and Vascular Services are performing, including the uterine fibroid embolization procedure, head over to their website at winsonginterventional.com. All the treatments are done in an outpatient setting in their state-of-the-art interventional and vascular services suite. 
You can give them a call at 929-9484.